Hey there, I'm Zachary Quinto, and I'm narrating The Dispatcher by John Scalzi for Audible. The Dispatcher takes place in a future world uh, in which anyone who's murdered comes back to life, right? Like, basically, murder is not really possible because if you're killed by somebody else, um, you immediately return to uh, your previous state just before you were murdered. It's created this space for these people called dispatchers who perform a service uh, for somebody who is injured or ill to the point where they're not gonna survive. They can come in and end their life and then that person is ostensibly resurrected. The story kicks off with the disappearance of one of these dispatchers and, uh, and the pursuit of what happened to him. I like that the foundation of the story of The Dispatcher was really about connection and relationships and humanity, even though it takes place in this extraordinary world. It felt really vivid, I would say, that there was a really evocative sense of this kind of other world, and yet it was so firmly rooted in a world that was really relatable and uh, easy to access and easy to understand. And I loved, especially at the beginning, these moments of being like having to explain what the idea is, right? What this construct is in the world where if, if you get killed by somebody else, you will 999 times out of a thousand come back, but there's always the one chance that you might not. The applicator released a burst of compressed nitrogen, forcefully driving the payload capsule through the soft pallet and into the patient's brain. After two seconds, the applicator chimed, signaling it had received data from the payload, confirming it was lodged in the brain. Activating the payload, I said, and pressed the button a third and final time. The payload exploded in the patient's brain, killing him instantly. I had purposely and intentionally killed a man. I was the direct and immediate cause of his death. That's who I am. That's my job. I'm a dispatcher. I, I love the challenge and I love the experience of using my voice in a way and cultivating my vocal ability and, and, uh, and, and stretching myself and challenging myself in different ways. I feel like The Dispatcher is a deceptively complex world. It presents itself in one way and then as you get into it, it reveals much more depth and much more complexity among these characters and what motivates them. And I feel like it's one of those worlds that you can get lost in.